you guys, let's get to our area here. We're going to get started with our warm-up. First thing here is just going to be a nice little jog in place. We are going to increase that pace as we go. Really just focus on getting that whole body nice and warm right now. Three, two, one. Increase that pace. Just moving a little bit quicker. Three, two, one. One more increase here. From here, we're going to transition right to some jumping jacks in three, two, one. Again, start nice and slow. We are going to increase that pace again as we go. Three, two, one. Increase that pace. Again, just moving a little bit quicker. And last increase here, three, two, one. Should start to get that heart rate up a little bit now. Three, two, one, and relax right there. From here we're gonna go right to some dynamic stretches. Our first one is gonna be getting that hamstring. We're gonna kick one leg out in front, bend at the other knee. Big reach back with our hips. We're going to reach down, out and up with our arms. Really make sure that front toe is coming back towards you. you really be feeling that in the hamstring and that calf. We're going to alternate out here until we hit five on each side. Perfect. Once we have five on each side from there, we're going to go with that hip flexor stretch, big step back. We're going to really think about pushing those hips forward and a slight twist as we get that stretch. Just really intensify. Again, alternating out here, going until we hit five on each side. Perfect. Once we have five on each side, we're going to go right to an alternating quad stretch. Same arm, same leg. Slight bend on that knee. We're going to add a lean forward and pull that leg back as we add that reach. Again, alternating out here until we have five on each. Perfect. Last stretch for us. We are going to stay on the same side for all five reps before we switch. Big step out to the side. Hips go back. One leg stays straight. Big push off the ground here. We're going to bring that knee up by, or grab by that knee and ankle. Squeeze that leg up towards our chest. Right back out. Again, really making sure that we have that balance on that leg. Five reps here. 
cards on the same side and then switch. Perfect, once we hit that fifth, same thing other side. Perfect. Once we get five on each side, from here we're going to get some hip activation in. What I want you guys to do is rock onto one leg. We're going to lock that knee out in front of us. We're going to start with some leg circles. Goal is to have only movement through our hip. We're going to get about 10 circles. Try to keep them nice and consistent. Once we hit that 10th, we're going to switch that direction. Hip should be getting nice and warm. Perfect. Once we hit 10 each direction, same thing on that other side. And we're trying to fight any lean from our shoulders or hip. Really focus on that balance. If you guys are having trouble with that balance, feel free to get near a wall or pull up a chair. This side's a little bit more difficult today. Foot should also be on fire that's down. Woo! All right, you guys. Last thing that I want you guys to do, we're going to go with five squats. This is the way we're going to do them. Nice and wide with our stance here. We're going to bend over, touch the ground, squat down as low as we can, reach our arms up, and squat up. That'd be one rep. Again, just going for five here. Trying to get a little bit deeper into that squat each time we go through. Perfect. All right, you guys, that is going to wrap up our warm-up for now. I want you guys to stretch anything else that you might need. Grab some water. I'm going to start walking you guys through what the class is going to look like. All right, so with our upper body and core class, we're going to have three different sets of exercises to get through. We're going to be working for 45 seconds, followed by a quick 15 seconds rest, and then transition right on through to our next exercise. Each set has three exercises in them. And like I said, unless there is a given tempo, I want you guys to think about how quickly you can move, how many reps you can get in in that 45 seconds. All right. So first exercise here is going to be a goblet squat into a step back squat. All right. So what it's going to look like, um, again, preferably we're going to be using that heavier weight here. So I'll show you from straight on and then from the side. So we're going to go with the normal goblet squat as we come back up. I'm going to step back here and more, do more of a sumo squat, come back, squat, and then I'll just go back to that next side. All right, so from the side again, goblet squat, big step back. All right, so we're gonna be alternating through those. Again, 45 seconds of work here. If you guys do need to take a break, try to hold that weight up still. Uh, maybe even just getting the goblet squats in, those step back squats are going to be a little bit more difficult. should really be feeling those on the inside of the thigh. All right. So from there, again, 45 seconds, we're going to drop that weight for 15 rest. From there, we're going to go to an alternating single leg RDL. Again, opposite arm, opposite leg with that weight. All right. Again, as long as we have that control, try to add a couple more reps in. If we do have the two lighter weights here, feel free to do the same thing. Just have both of those weights in the arms at the same time, okay? For our core exercise in this first set, we're gonna go with some windshield wipers. So again, coming all the way down onto our back, try to lock our legs out as much as we can. Shoulders should stay on the ground. We're gonna go all the way to the side. Legs hover right above the ground. Rock them back. And again, try not to think about using that momentum. Try to think about really controlling those legs the entire way. 
especially as we get down to that side, you should really feel that in the oblique, coming back and forth. For a less intense version, we can bend the knees here, do that same thing. If you find that as you're going to the side, your shoulder's coming up, that means we're going too far, or we don't have that mobility, all right? So just instead of going all the way to the side, maybe we're only going to about right here, rocking back and forth, all right? That is going to be our first set. Uh, I'm going to give you guys about 30 more seconds. Grab anything else you might need. And we're going to get started with that goblet squat to step back squat. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. So that step back squat is going to be a little different each time. We're really just looking for that nice big sumo stance. Almost there. Three, two, one. Woo! That really gets the inside of the thighs. From here, we're going to be standing up, alternating single leg RDLs. Make sure we're not going to be dropping this weight on our foot if we're switching out. Ready and go. Ten seconds left. And rest right there. All right, coming down onto our back for that windshield wiper. And also think about pressing those arms into the ground here. Three, two, one, and go. Ten seconds left. Three, two, one. All right, coming back up. Again, we got two more rounds here. So we're coming back to that goblet squat, step back squat. Ready and go. Fifteen seconds left. Three, two, one. All right, from here going to our alternating single leg RDLs. Three, two, one, 
and go. Almost done. Three, two, one. Woo! Coming back down for those windshield wipers. Three, two, one, and go. Almost done. 15 seconds. Three, two, one. All right, guys. Last round here. After this, we'll get two minutes rest. And we'll be switching up our exercises. Three, two, one, and go. Three, two, one. Whew. All right. Woo! We're done with those. Last time with a single leg alternating RDLs. Three, two, one, and go. Fifteen seconds left. Three, two, one. Woo! Done with those. Last time with our core exercise here. The windshield wiper. Gonna have this two minutes rest. Three, two, one, and go. Almost done. Three, two, one, and relax right there. Woo! All right, so two minutes rest here. Uh, I want you guys to grab some water, stretch if you need to. I do want you guys to try to keep moving, so try not to sit down, all right? 
grab some water, and I'll start walking you guys through our next three exercises. All right, so next three here, um, as I mentioned in the beginning, um, 45 seconds of work here. We are trying to get as many reps in unless there is a tempo, which this one, uh, this round does have a tempo for this first exercise, all right? So what it is, is with our RDL here, we're gonna go three seconds down, two second pause, one second coming up, all right? So what it looks like, again, start by softening your knees, slide your hips back. We wanna reach that weight back for, the, uh, for our heels. Two second pause, one second up, all right? So three, two, one, one, two, and then one second popping up, all right? We're gonna perform all of our reps like that um, for the 45 seconds. After that, drop the weight down. Um, we're gonna go with some alternating reverse lunges. Um, I prefer to hold it back in that goblet position here. We're just, again, switching those legs out nice and quick. All right. Feel free to go um, weights in the, um, by our sides as well, or you can even challenge that core a little bit more and have one weight on the side and perform those reverse lunges, okay? Again, we do have three rounds, so if you are gonna do that, make sure we go one side, the other side, and then maybe try that goblet squat position for that, or goblet position for that last set, all right? Um, for our core exercise, we're gonna be going with a bird dog. So down on our hands and our knees, again, opposite arm, opposite leg extend, Come back in and just keep alternating out okay like I said um, we got three rounds again so we're doing the exact same thing as that first one but again just switching up our exercise all right um, we got about 20 seconds and we're gonna get started with those RDLs Alright, here we go. Three, <coughs> two, one, and go. Again, have that tempo. Three seconds down, two second pause, one second up. Ten seconds left. Three, two, one. All right. Again, from here we're going to our alternating reverse lunges. Sorry about the crying. A little man just got home from daycare. He's a little tired. Ready for his nap. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. We got about 15 seconds left. Keep working here. Three, two, one. Woo. Again, from here, coming down onto the ground, bird dog exercise. Three, Two, one, and go. So you should feel that core tighten up as we extend that opposite arm, opposite leg.
three, two, one. Coming back up. Again, three seconds down, two second pause, one second up. Three, two, one, and go. Almost done. Three, two, one. Woo! Come back to those alternating reverse lunges. Again, really focus on getting as many reps in as we can in that 45 seconds. Three, two, one, and go. Keep working, about 15 seconds left. Three, two, one. Coming back down, again, alternating bird dog here. Three, two, one. And go. Three, two, one. Woo! Come back up. Again, last round here. Then again, two minutes rest. And we'll start our last set. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Three, two, one. All right, last time with our alternating reverse lunges. Three, two, one, and go. Keep working, 15 seconds. Three, 
two, one. Whew. Last exercise here. Here we go. Three, two, one, and go. Keep working. Do about 15 seconds. Three, two, one. Woo! Once again, guys, two minutes rest here. Feel free to grab some water. Again, stretch if you need to, but try to keep moving. I'm going to start walking us through our last set. So grab some water. Right, so last set here. Um, we only have two rounds on this one, so we're not going to do a full three. Um, this one is going to be a little bit more intense, especially for this last for this first exercise. Right, we're going to be doing a kettlebell swing to a forward lunge. So, a couple different ways we can do this. I'm going to show you guys with the kettlebell um, and with the free weight. So, kettlebell swing here. So we're swing back, we're going to swing as we come forward. We're just going to alternate between that kettlebell swing and that forward lunge. All right. If we don't feel comfortable um, throwing that weight and we have that dumbbell, feel free to come here, forward lunge. All right. And again, just alternate out those front feet of which we do that forward lunge on. From there, we're going to go to a calf raise. Feel free to get near a wall if we need to. A um, couple different ways we could do this. Since there are only two rounds, if you guys want to challenge yourself a little bit more, only going on the one leg, we can also add some weight in that um, free hand, okay? Other than that, if we want to go just both or both feet, try to go nice and controlled up, as well as coming back down. I actually like to kind of, as I rock back on my heels, pick my toes up, fully relax before coming all the way back up. All right, again, 45 seconds there. As long as we have that control, getting as many reps in as we can. Our last exercise is going to be a rolling plank with a clamshell. So we're going to come down onto our elbows and our knees here. We're going to roll to the side. As we get to the side, lift our hips, lift our knees, come back down, switch out. I should really be burning up those hips here. All right. Again, two rounds, and then we'll get a nice cool down stretch. All right. Get back to our area, we got about 15 seconds. Three, two, one, and go. Fifteen seconds. Three, two, one. All right. From here, go to that calf raise. Again, totally up to you guys. We can either go both legs, both rounds, or switch off one leg at a time. Ready and go. Fifteen 
seconds left. His calf should be burning. Three, two, one. Woo! From here, coming down for our core exercise. Again, that rolling plank with the clam clamshell. Three, two, one, and go. Work in 15 seconds here. You know, get those hips as high as you can in the air. Three, two, one. Woo! All right, last set here, and we'll be on our cool down stretch. Okay, come back to that kettlebell swing to forward lunge. Three, two, one. And go. Three, two, one. All right, last time with that calf raise. Again, if we did go single leg, make sure we switch those feet up. Three, two, one, and go. Fifteen seconds. Three, two, one. Woo. Come back down. Last exercise here. Three, two, one, and go. Three, two, one. Woo! And rest right there. All right, you guys, that is going to wrap up our workout. Again, I'm going to give you guys a quick minute, grab some water, and we'll get to our cool down stretch.
right, let's get back to our area. We're going to be starting standing up with one of those uh, movements that we had in our warm-up. All right, so kicking that leg nice and straight again, slightly bending that back knee. Hips go back, big reach for the ground, and then we're going to reach out and up. All right, again, I want you guys to maybe take it a little bit slower than we did that first time. But we are going to keep it nice and dynamic. Going until we hit five on each side. And perfect. From there, we're going to get nice and wide with our stance. We're going to go with a lateral lunge windmill. So what this is going to look like, we're going to bend at one knee. Whichever leg uh, that we're bending towards, we're going to reach, twist, open up that chest. You should be getting a lot of stretch from a couple different places here. Again, opposite arm, opposite leg. Another thing about open that chest up, we are going to go until we hit five on each side again. Alright, last one here, if you guys can get near a wall, we're going to be doing a calf stretch. If not, we're just going to get in this position here, that big lunge. That back leg is the one getting stretched with the wall here. It can get a little bit more um, utilization, get a little bit deeper stretch here. We are going to hold this one. Just listen for the switch. Three, two, one. Same thing on that other side. Three, two, one, and then back up. All right, you guys, that is all I have for you today. Thank you very much for joining me. As always, please reach out if you have any questions. If not, I will see you guys tomorrow.